and Donna and I <laughs> are about to load these two wild dogs in that Mini Cooper and drive the 475 miles. tire smoke to o-rings to a deaf quality light waiting to go in lip mode mode that's where we're at so we are currently it's monday by the way in the afternoon we stayed in a rest area last night because this thing is, uh, I think they call it degenerate, de derate. The engine's going to derate on the, the motorhome. So, called some friends at Smythe Automotive, Parts Plus, and we are now at a Freightliner dealership, hoping to get this thing fixed before it does go into limp mode. Hanging out, can't get parked. Was told we can't get looked at till tomorrow. So we gotta figure out what we're gonna do. Being on the road's always an adventure, y'all. It's just uh, part of what we do. You never know what you're gonna get. I'll keep you up to date. Motorhome travel. Boom, we're at Fida. Fida? Fida? Fida Fida? How do you say that, Donna? Fida Fida Donna. We have been called to the shop. See if we can get this. What is it again? I keep forgetting. Bad death quality. Uh, poor death quality. Poor death quality light going. We have not went into limp mode yet. But this dude is uh, expertly Backing in the big boy, headed into the uh, shop. Go check it out. Not exactly exciting YouTube material, but we're getting there. Just got to get this thing uh, cleared up. According to all the Google crap, there is, uh, it's a common thing. Good old death. It is what it is. It is what it is. All right, guys, so Chris is plugged in. Maybe we can uh, put the uh, 360 tune-up in this thing, maybe get some more power out of it, but uh, he's probably not going to say that on camera because... No way. <laughs> he is checking out the coach for us, and uh, it's awesome that uh, they got this thing in here. I'm anxious to see how all this works. All right, we've got... Emissions recall, exhaust recalls, all kinds of recalls. This is turning into a tomorrow project, so me and Donna got to decide what we're going to do. Do we load the dogs up in the Mini Cooper and roll out? Stay tuned. All right, we're about 25 hours or so after the final round that Mike Salinas won yesterday. The parking lot finally cleared out. Got a spot to park, and Donna and I <laughs> are about to load these two wild dogs in that Mini Cooper and drive the 475 miles. This is supposed to take all day tomorrow. Let the adventure begin in the Mini Cooper. Now look at this. Look, there's dogs back here. There's food out of the fridge back here. Me and Donna up here. It is 5:02 p.m. What'd you say? 469 miles. Seven hours and 16 minutes. That sounds like a race, but the problem is the dogs don't have to pee. I'm still on cheat day with the, uh, the Mountain Dew Baja Blast. I'm at to pee. I'm Mr. Peabody. Let's hit the road, y'all.
Okay guys, have not filmed anything in a couple days. It is Wednesday, almost four o'clock in the afternoon, and Frida Freightliner, Frida Freightliner called, said the motorhome is fixed, and I'm by myself, no dogs, no Donna, so it'll be a bit of a boring trip. But I'm gonna go up there right now. I'm headed that way. It took us eight hours, 22 minutes, and I will post the uh, stopwatch that I used going up there. Let's see if I can do it any quicker by myself. Probably not. I am uh, a water boy. Constantly gotta stop because I drink too much water, but I don't think you can drink too much water. Let's hit the road! a Freightliner at 10 after 12 luckily the service department stays open till midnight there was a guy still there doing paperwork gave me the keys hooked the trailer up loaded the Mini Cooper up it is now 10 to 1 I'm gonna take a nap whenever I wake up we'll hit the road I gotta tell you though pretty excited uh, it was a some kind of sensor for the death on this thing it had a recall all that got fixed and cleared and you know how much it cost me zero i like a zero that foc free of charge all right it's nap time long day i'll see you in the morning good morning Good morning, good morning. All right, we are loaded, ready to go. Just hopped out of the shower, making a quick walk around. I guess technically would be called a pre-trip inspection. Checking the old trailer tires, making sure we are good. Give everything a quick kick. Make sure the doors are locked. Make sure my hitch is hooked up correctly. And hopefully, the old Phaeton, which is really dirty because it rained while we've been gone, is good to go. Gotta thank the folks at uh, Fight a Freightliner here in Sharonville, Ohio. As long as the check engine light don't come on and it try to go in limp mode on the way home. But they did a great job, got us in, got us out. Definitely a big inconvenient, but hey, it was a, a recall. Let's hit the road. Still rolling. Traffic jams have held us up. Constructions held us up. We are not setting an ET record getting home, but hey, we're rolling through Kentucky. It's beautiful. And we're on our way home. All good. All right, last stop. Not that far from home. I'm already thinking about washing and cleaning. Wow, this thing got dirty. Road trips will do it. And I gotta tell the truth, these stops are painful. It's uh, certainly a uh, something, if you wanna get a ton of likes on Instagram or something, it's really simple. All you gotta do is post a picture of, uh, I'm not pointing at the Trump thing, I was pointing at the, uh, cost per gallon it'll get you a lot of likes and a lot of comments everybody knows this this stuff is uh, 
super pricey right now, but we're getting close to home. Hey, hey, everybody. Obviously, we made it home. It is hot, hot, hot outside. So, the old motorhome, no lights, no problems. Got her back in the shop, <clears throat> all washed up. I still got to get the trailer washed up. Trying to figure out my day here, exactly what I'm going to do. So while I was gone, we had garage door openers installed because these doors were hard to open. And when I built the shop, we were in a hurry. And let's face it, I was trying to save money and thought, oh, I'll just pick the doors up. Well, a few years later, the doors got harder and harder to pick up. So got a couple projects I need to figure out which I'm doing first because of all the washing on this thing yesterday I'm not real motivated to wash the trailer but I'm probably going to but what has to be done is these two motors need to be wired you can see I got an extension cord run up to that one I am not a little ah, I am not an electrician but I'm going to do this it's pretty simple just got to climb all the way up there. This thing's got 14 foot doors. I don't know what the peak of the ceiling is. It's easily 20 feet. Not scared of heights. So got to get that done. The other thing I want to get done is obviously the trailer cleaned up. And then I want to get to some baby D because none of this has probably been fun for y'all to watch. But I always appreciate you watching and checking out what we're doing. I just try to take you along of... Uh, all the behind scenes stuff with a pro racer. Anyway, I think I'm gonna wash that. All right, let's go to work. Washed and clean and ready to go. Let me tell you something. It's a hot one in Drummond's Tennessee today. Got the ladder out. Gotta make a run and go get some wire and start on that. I know this wasn't a crazy exciting video, but I tell you what, it was a lot of miles, it was a lot of travel, and a little bit of a pain in the butt. Drive part way home from Norwalk, get in the Mini Cooper, load the dogs, drive the rest of the way home, fight a freight liner, got us fixed up, drive back up there, load the car up, drive back home, wash everything, and uh, it's lunchtime. Appreciate you guys watching, liking, subscribing, sharing, See you in the next one.